Okay, great. How many moles of sodium sulfide are needed to react with 51.86 moles of copper chloride? So it's saying if I've got this many moles of copper, uh, how many moles will I need to actually have our recipe come to fruition? So let's get started. Guns under one. Givens, write down my givens, put a one underneath it, get the rest of my numbers, and solve. So my first given is 51.86 mole of copper chloride. U, L, great, I'm going to put it over one, right? Because over one. Alrighty, use my mole math, starting here. Going to here, so I need my mole ratio. What do I put on the top? My moles are the thing I'm looking for. What is the thing I'm looking for? I don't remember. Ah, sodium sulfide. Where's sodium sulfide? Here it is, sodium sulfide. So mole sodium sulfide. Great. The thing I started with on the bottom, I'll know I'm doing this right if my units cancel. Perfect. Fill in my numbers. Where am I going to get my numbers? I get my numbers from my balanced equation. It tells me here. Here's my balanced equation. So how many moles? What is it? And a, I have a 1. And what is it for CuCl? Also a 1. Oh, I forgot my Cl2. 1. So this one's going to work out pretty easy. 51.81 times 1 is 51.81. Divided by 1 is 1. So Na2S. 